Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I am going to discuss how you can deal with categorical data, okay? So there are mostly two types of categorical data. One categorical data are basically those data for which you cannot give some sequence of numbers, okay? That is numbering cannot be done and one kind of categorical data for which numbering can be done. Like I am showing one categorical data set. Suppose uh, the student's grade, S grade is the maximum, then A, then B, then C, then D, then E, then F. Okay, mostly like this, uh, most of the university's grading system is present in engineering. Now, S grade is the maximum. So, most of our machine learning models are based on mathematical equation. The mathematical equation cannot understand these particular strings. So we need some numerical value. So these particular categorical variables can be mapped easily to numerical values. Like we can consider S grade as maximum, A grade as lower than S grade, B grade as lower than A grade, C grade as lower than B grade, D grade as lower than C grade, E grade as lower than D grade and F grade also suppose E grade on E and F like field students you can consider like this. Okay, so like this, the numerical mapping can be done for this kind of data like grading of a student. Okay, these are some categorical data for which numerical mapping can be done. But suppose I am telling you for this particular data, I am having age and salary for different employees of different country and based on that whether they have purchased one particular product or not. All right, then French or Spain, Germany. For this, you cannot give directly this kind of numerical uh, values, right? Because uh, suppose I am telling you like this. Let me just clear this part. Suppose I am having the French, okay, or France. And then one employee from uh, Spain, okay, all right. And one employee from Germany. Now, here you cannot tell that, okay, I will be giving numerical value 3 to uh, French employee, to Spanish employee 2 and to German employee 1. Okay, like that you cannot tell because these are countries, right? So for this kind of data set, properly numerical mapping from categorical data set cannot be done. So for that what we can do? We can do like this, suppose uh, we will be making one new uh, column. These are called dummy variables. Okay, so it will be having France as columns and for those for whom country is France for those will be uh, giving one value and for rest of the uh, employees for whom the country is not France will be giving zero value like for the first one France uh, is the country so we will be giving one Spanish zero German zero Spain zero German zero France one Spain zero uh, France one German zero France one all right like that mapping can be done. Same goes for Spain and Germany, right? So these things we can implement in MATLAB. Let me directly go to MATLAB. So first of all, let me load the data. Okay. Data.csv. And this is our simple data set. I will click on this and our data is imported, right? Now the concept is that how you can create a new column where only one will be there corresponding to that row for which the country is France for all other the results will be zero right that is the problem now and for that there is one inbuilt function in MATLAB that is is member okay so I am just showing you suppose es one variable I am storing uh, suppose is member then inside parenthesis, I will be writing suppose data dot country because on country column we have to convert from categorical to numerical, right? So data dot country, comma, suppose I want France, okay? Right? And now if you write ES and click enter, you will be getting one logical array 100001001 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. why like this if you consider closely our data set the pattern is first in the first line first row france is there 
so as a result here logical one we are getting right then second third fourth fifth sixth row again francis there let us check in our data set 1 2 3 4 5 6 again sixth row francis there so that it is giving to one then again uh, here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eighth row francis there similarly at eighth row francis there and at the end at the tenth row francis there so it is giving 10th row now what we want we want to add this particular column to our original table so that we can do further mathematical machine learning algorithm we can implement on our data set right so what we can do see this is one logical array so first of all we need to convert this to number so i am converting to double okay so our now data set is one double data set now this is Uh, we can treat like normal uh, number data and how to append so we will be making one uh, table from this array and for that in matlab the function is array to table okay then pass the array comma then obviously if it is inserted in a table there should be some uh, table name that is column name that is called variable names okay you have to define like this then giving comma what variable name you want to give like here this is corresponding to france right so france right so we will be taking this and we will be testing here okay right and then uh, some error we are getting let us check uh, the variable name property must be a cell array um okay uh, must be a cell array with element uh, containing on non empty character vectors okay so this should be on cell array so we can convert this to cell we'll be keeping this inside one curly bracket i hope it works now we will append this rs to our original data set so that is data right so data equal to data rs i hope it will work let us check data see now one new column france is added in our data okay only for those rows where country is france for those it is giving one for rest of the values it is giving zero like this you can do mapping in case of categorical data right now let me show you for general case how you can do let me import the data again so now i want to do for this yes no column i am just giving one demonstration example and how you can generalize this code using looping statement see here is the simple code what we will be doing see original our data just closely loop once suppose i am writing data there are only yes and no these two categorical data are present so first of all we will be taking what are the unique categorical data present categorical variable present in our data set so k equal to unique data dot purchased okay why because data is the table name purchased is the column name for which we will be uh, transforming from categorical to numerical right then dummy variable equal to one empty matrix we are defining so this new columns which we are adding uh, to convert from categorical to numerical data these are called dummy variable approach so for that i have given dummy variable then variable equal to data dot purchased so i am taking this particular column and then i have told you double is member variable uh, friend uh, france previously like here now we have to apply for all these unique dummy variables right so each time we will be uh, implementing that and we will be storing that in dummy variable and like that after all we will be getting one complete 2d array so for i equal to one colon length of k dummy variable of colon comma i why colon comma i because we don't know number of rows but we know number of columns only so colon means all rows and i means that particular column equal to double is member variable comma k of i same code try to relate double is used to convert the logical array to uh, number array is member is used to check the membership it will return logically one if it is member otherwise it will return logical zero then cell string i am converting 
uh, my unique data set to sales str why remember we were getting one, one error that it must uh, need to be sale array uh, there, there is sale data structure in matlab so k equal to sell str and then we are converting that to one table and we are appending that to our original data set that's all so now let me run the code control a evaluate selection all right let me clear this and now if i write data i will be having two new columns where you can see uh, if the purchase is no no we are getting in the first column like here yes is there so that we are getting zero here but one here like that you can convert from dummy uh, that is from categorical data to numerical data and now you can implement your this particular concept to your practical machine learning model which is based on mathematical numerical value but very important point to be noted these two columns are basically having same information the amount of information we are getting from a from this no column is equal to amount of information we are getting from the yes column why because for those uh, which are for which we are getting zero that means those are not no that means those are yes so no complement is yes we can say so completely related so basically for our modeling uh, machine learning model purpose only no column or only yes column is basically sufficient okay so this is i want what i wanted to show you same code i will be posting in the description box if you want you can check there this is all for my this video Thank you for watching.